Yo, yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are not sim racing at all or playing anything else. Today I'm showing my new car. Uh, I had some requests of uh, people asking if I want to show my new car uh, in a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing today as, um, you know, felt like doing something a little bit different for once. So today I'm showing my new car. Let's step outside for a second and I'll show you guys the outside. Um, I'm pretty close to the local go-kart track actually, uh, which is all the way over there. But anyway, um, showing my new car around for today. It's a Mercedes E200. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, also, last week there was some sand rain or something. I don't know. Um, I will go and clean it in a second. Um, but first I want to show you guys a little bit more uh, about the car and stuff. Uh, it is 184 horsepower, 300 newton meter torque uh, and 9 gears. It's rear wheel driven um, uh, in the color black as you can see. Of course, um, on the inside, um, as you can see here, oh, pretty cool if I close the door that it will give my seat belt to me um, but anyway let's show a little bit more now on the inside um, let's go a little bit backward with the seat so I can show you guys more um, as you can see it's on sport plus right there I've got more modes I've got uh, just standard sport comfort and eco and I I've never tried individual actually I have no idea what that does um, you can see it will change on the screen here. Anyway, we're even keeping on the Sport Plus. Um, we've got a nice little watch here, which is standard on the E Class. I didn't buy it new as um, uh, at this 60,000 kilometer. Uh, I don't think they even had it new on the dealership I was. But anyway, I don't have the money to buy a new one anyway, as a new car is very expensive, of course. So 60,000 kilometer, which is not a lot, but. Um, yeah, it's still pretty new. Uh, 60,000 kilometer is not much for a Mercedes. Um, as I said, it's a little bit dirty, uh, as you can see on the glass. Um, so I'm gonna go, go and clean it now. Also, I need to refuel, as I only have 161 kilometers um, drivability left. You can see I've got some nice little lights in here as well. We've got a nice Burmeister sound system which is amazing might um, show it a little bit later but anyway let's go and um, clean the car now uh, I need to drive a little bit to go to the washing street I want to go I think it's like a 15 minute drive so let's go there now
right, so just finished washing the car. I think light quality is pretty poor here. Anyway, um, just finished um, washing the car, or well, I didn't, the washing street did. But um, yeah, now you can actually see uh, the, the inside lighting looks absolutely amazing because we're inside. Um, during the night, it looks even better. But um, yeah, now I'm gonna clean myself the inside a little bit because as you can see, right here it's a little bit dirty i'm not sure if you guys can actually see but um yeah it's actually a pretty cool porsche sitting next to me as well um but yeah now i'm gonna clean the inside a little bit uh my gopro actually was overheating a little bit during the car wash thingy that's why it stopped uh at the very end so, uh, but it's cool down now so it's fine anyway uh, i'm gonna clean the inside a little bit now and then uh, our refuel and after that I can talk a little bit more about the car and what options it has so uh, see you guys in a second all right so I just finished cleaning my car um, shut up. Uh, now I'm just gonna head home real quick because I have an interview uh, I'm gonna do that real quick turn right to stay on by so <laughs> Then I'm gonna refuel, refuel my car after and show you guys a little bit more about right. the the car and all the options it has. Uh, it's uh, it's the AMG line, so it's not actually an AMG, but it has all the options that AMG has. So. Um, In 300 meters, turn left. How do I turn syndrome. this girl off? Um, yeah, so it has all the options an AMG car would have, and. 20 inch rims uh, it also has a widened um, uh, space I don't know exactly how to say it other uh, other wheels so you can actually fit 20 inch turn left rims under it um, which is pretty nice I really like the rims it's, uh, one of the reasons I bought this car and um, yeah, I really wanted a car with an AMG line. I like to have as much options as possible. So now I'm gonna head home, uh, do the interview, and come back to you guys. So see you guys in a second. All right, so my interview didn't uh, went through, so um, didn't do the interview. So I had some food, and now we are back. Originally, I wanted to refill my car, but it's quite a drive, and it's like half past four so it's gonna be really busy on the road so i might actually do it tomorrow or tonight when it's a little bit less busy you know so um now it's actually a good opportunity to show my car a little bit more um unlucky i just um cleaned it and now it's raining as you can see or it just stopped raining but anyway showing my car a little bit around i already said about the lights uh you can actually see them a little bit better now um because it's pretty dark out here because it's raining also got a nice little roof here um which i can like open which is maybe not a very smart idea because there's light rain but i'm still gonna do it anyway um so yeah i can open that all the way and then um, outside so no, I'm gonna close it again. And then, if it's like very sunny, I can also close this thing. Oh, wait, it's going back. Oh. And then, it's not getting as hot in here, because the sun won't shine through. So, that's pretty nice. Um, also, I have this very nice wood interior, which I absolutely love. Um, another reason i wanted to buy this car i really love the interior this wooden interior here i've got my seat adjustments each is very nice you can exactly see um what I, what you can change actually this can only go up and down you can lower it and also i have this little extension here which you can change so that's pretty nice. Then I got seat warming, of course, which I'm not gonna turn on because it's 20 degrees outside. Uh, actually, it's it's 18. It says 18. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Then I got the windows, of course. Something I absolutely love as well is that because it's a coupe, there's like no 
um, piece like like right here. So it's just one big gap, which I love. It looks very nice. Um, so absolutely love that as well. Got a lot of options here. Uh, still haven't figured out after three weeks what all of them do, but this is obviously heating. You can see here, I can go up and down, then I can sink it and turn the sink off so the passenger can like separately change the temperature, which is pretty nice. And on here I can change like all the um, things, you know, like temperature, air, verdeling, luchtverdeling in Dutch. Licht <laughs> um, I'll keep it in English, <laughs> but so yeah, I can change that, uh, which is pretty nice. Then I can change a lot of the different settings in the menu nav. It's all in Dutch, so it's probably pretty hard to read for all of you. And then this is like touch screen, which is pretty nice. I can like go through the menu touch screen wise, but I'm not gonna do that. I prefer to use this little thing radio, media, telephone car so let's see what i can change here shame all everything is in touch but i don't think i can change it very easily unless i can no i can't it's a bit of a shame but anyway um yeah that was i think most uh, of the car you can kind of change some things here i have no idea why it says my back support is not locked but anyway um, I'll check that after. Usually, I can. Like, oh, I actually can change through the menu right there. Um, see lots of different things on here as well. I can change the view. Usually, I've got it on this one, action radius. So I can see like what average I use um, when I'm driving somewhere. I like to lift and coast <laughs> to save some fuel uh, unless I'm in a rush. So yeah, I think. That's most of it covered. I'll show the outside one more time. It's actually pretty hard to get out of here. Um, oh. It's a bit tight where I live with parking space, especially if there's a pretty big BMW next to me. And then there's a pretty big car right there as well. So let me wrangle myself out here. Oh. right here it will lock which I don't want I prefer to just do it here unless I like don't want to get in anymore after so yeah I think that's gonna be it it's pretty tight you can see it's pretty tight between here so I can't show too much from the sides so yeah now I'm gonna wrinkle myself in again it's way too tight to get in and out the doors are massive as well which don't help but it's a coupe the doors are huge so getting in and out is pretty tough but myself back in so yeah I can change like uh, the wheel as well right here up and down so yeah I prefer to have it all the way up and then on the back uh, two seats you know pretty big space actually on the back um, you can see passenger seat is quite far back and still if quite some decent space with some um, shake holders or glass holders or whatever you want to call it so yeah right here i've got a little sunglass um holder it's pretty nice i don't have sunglass in here in there at the moment but yeah um that's gonna be it for today i think i explained most of it um not going into every little detail i think i showed most of what i wanted to show so i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a different video for once um make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of this uh, i'm really interested to see how this video is gonna perform um usually if i do something else apart from sim racing it doesn't do too well but uh it was definitely fun and pretty learnful to do something different for once um i filmed all of this on my gopro which 
usually vloggers don't really do, I think so. So uh, I hope uh, it turned out well. Um, and see you guys uh, next video. Ciao.